Hey, I noticed on uh, that last video that I put up on uh, head gasket problems that the sound was pretty bad. So I invested in a cheap little microphone system and hopefully that'll improve it. If you notice uh, any kind of popping or anything, it's a really uh, inexpensive unit. So my apologies up front if that's the case. We're working on uh, a different car. This is uh, uh, the 1992 Toyota Camry that I've worked on before. I've put up some videos on the air conditioning uh, upgrades, which by the way, they're still working great. The air conditioning occasionally we kick it on and I'm wearing a winter hat. But around here, uh, there have been a few days um, of late that were warming up where we could check it and it's still working great. It's been almost a year now. So um, anyway, this car, uh, um, I believe it probably has a, a, a much more minor uh, head gasket problem, a compression leak. It um, exhibits uh, strange behaviors occasionally. I can drive the snot out of it locally here to work every single day all over town uh, and it's fine. Take it out on the road, you get about 50 or 60 miles out of town of solid driving and the, the, it starts to overheat and then it doesn't want to cool down. Um, it did this once to me and uh, when I was able to finally get, the, uh, get access to the radiator I noticed that I couldn't see any cooling in there so it was going somewhere and it wasn't on the ground anywhere that I could see. Um, Anyway, the other behavior that it's doing is occasionally about two or three times a week in the morning when I start it up, it runs, it's misfiring on one cylinder so uh, until it clears out. So uh, I'm not getting a ton of white smoke like a lot that you see, um, uh, but I believe that it's leaking enough to where it's, it's a problem. It's a, it's a mild one, but it's a problem. So uh, we need to get about three more years out of this car. Um, we'll see what happens here. What I'm going to do here is, like on the other video, I'm going to use Napa's block tester again. Uh, it's a, it's a block tester, and what it does is uh, you, it comes with, uh, again, for those that haven't seen the other one, with fluid, uh, a special fluid, and it comes with this little uh, guy. You pour this fluid in the top of here, up to the, up to the level there. Um, this goes inside the radiator neck, and then it has a bulb. Uh, one end is capped, the other is not, and you put it in there, and you basically suck the gases out of the radiator a cooling system essentially through the fluid and the element in here. You can see the element in there. And what you look for is a change in color in this fluid, whether it turns green or yellow. Um, it should stay blue and it's actually sniffing the system for any kind of exhaust related fumes or compression fumes, combustion fumes. I've heard a couple different terms. Um, uh, so we're going to get started on this and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, the next part of this obviously is you drain the cooling system down as best you can and then uh, reseal the bottom where you've uh, drained it. Um, and then you want to fill the cooling system with straight water. Uh, you don't want to fill it all the way up though. You want to fill it up uh, and give you some, some room at the top for the tool to suck the gases out of here. You don't want to get coolant or water in the, in the test tool. So you just use straight water. What we'll do is we'll start and run the car. Uh, probably. Uh, good to have an assistant watch the temperature gauge if you're going to do this. You don't want it to overheat, but you don't want to put too much water in this thing. You want to be able to get the tool in there. Have your garage door open uh, at the exhaust area. Uh, work in an open vented area. You don't want to run your car like this in a, in a closed garage. It's running a little rough. I can hear it running a little rough. It's been sitting for a couple of days. Let me get the fluid ready real quickly here. Okay, when we're doing this, uh, you want to be careful not to overheat the car, so keep an eye on the temperature gauge. Here's kind of how we're going to do it. Put it right in the radiator. Push it down as best you can. Keep trying. Sometimes they do need to warm up quite a bit before they'll test positive. A bit of residual water there.
go check the temperature of the car real quick. It's still on cold. I'm pushing down on it as I go here. Pump the bulb. Temperature gauge is about halfway up. And if I had more time and a helper, I would grab the camera and show you, but down inside of the radiator neck here, I don't see any water. So it's about right. We want it to uh, not suck in anything else. We don't want it to overheat. So yep, that's about as green as it's gonna get, I think. It's almost yellow. Compare that to the color of the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Better check my temperature gauge. Okay, it's about halfway up. I'm gonna grab the camera here and see if I can shoot down the neck. You can see the radiators. Yeah, it's green. So we're running. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get in here with a light. You can see a little bit of that. No, not really. I've, I've got it on manual focus, but you can kind of see there's no water in there. Okay. Uh, I can tell the thermostat has just opened because it's uh, steaming. I can tell the thermostat has opened. It's uh, obviously steaming. So let's uh, now we're going to get some definite fumes. Let's see what we get here. Oh yeah. Oh geez. Those are those are direct fumes. Look at that. Look at how yellow that is. Thermostat is open. I, I lift this up. There's no fluid in there that it's sucking through, but that's all combustion fumes that it's detecting. Bright yellow. Pretty pretty good. Okay. Good block test. Block test run blast, block test kit runs about 40 bucks for everything with $7 refill bottles for the fluid. I'm going to shut it off. Okay, so this is the result that we got. I'll hold this stuff up to the camera so you can see it's pretty yellow. And then this is blue. Um, so definitely an issue here. At, in this case, the thermostat had to open on the car. and it, I mean, I got some greenness before, but uh, uh, definitely an issue. Um, if you do this, make sure that your garage is open. And uh, if you're going to put your car up, do it safely. And uh, hopefully this helped you out for information purposes.